the Arab prophet, the Hebrew Messiah, from their sources. The Arab prophet was formerly an unbeliever, before this, thou wast one of those not aware of the truth. The Hebrew Messiah grew up a believer, the child grew and became strong, he was filled with wisdom, and the grace of God was upon him. The Arab prophet performed no miracles, wherefore has not a sign been sent down to him from his Lord. The Hebrew Messiah performed many miracles, God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power, he went around doing good, and healing all who were under the power of the devil. The Arab prophet did not exist in earlier times, thou wast not present on the western side of the mount when we committed the matter to Moses. The Hebrew Messiah existed before early times. I tell you the truth, before Abraham was born, I am. The Arab prophet could not make the dead to hear, thou canst not make those to hear who are buried in the graves. The Hebrew Messiah will call forth the dead, a time is coming, and has now come, when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God, and those who hear will live. The Arab prophet was ignorant of heavenly events. I had no knowledge of the exalted assembly, when they discussed the matter among themselves. The Hebrew Messiah participates in heavenly events, Father, glorify me in your presence with the glory I had with you before the world began. The Arab prophet had to seek forgiveness. There is no God other than Allah, and ask forgiveness for thy frailties. The Hebrew Messiah had no sin. Jesus, the Son of God, has been tempted in every way, just as we are, yet without sin. The Arab prophet could not forgive others. I am but a human being like you, ask forgiveness of him. The Hebrew Messiah forgave men's sins. Who can forgive sins but God alone, that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins? To whom shall we go, to find forgiveness and eternal salvation?